Good morning. Uh, it's Thursday, March 23rd. Um, it's been a busy week. The Monday, drove out to Phoenix, picked up a Volkswagen Bug um, and also a Wave Raider. The lady sold her house and just needed to get rid of uh, some things fast. So I got a call. It was a pretty good deal. So my dad and I ran out to Phoenix to pick up uh, those two things. When we got there, we thought we could put the bug and the wave raider on the flatbed trailer together, but it wasn't going to fit. So I had to make two trips. Went back Tuesday uh, for the wave raider. We slapped new wheels and tires on the ski uh, ski trailer, but did not hook the ski to the trailer or it came unhooked on the road. I don't know, but I made it all the way to the exit on the 40 um pulled off at a truck stop to grab a bite to eat and uh a passerby let me know that the ski was about to fall off the trailer luckily they uh it was it ended up being someone i knew from a job like years ago and uh the guy helped me get the ski back on the trailer and strapped it in to bring her home uh back to the bug deal though that was a pretty cool uh, story, lady owned the car for 40 years, uh, bought it in Texas for $300, drove it to Arizona in 91, and, and that's where it sat ever since, um, garage cap for the most part, uh, overall looks really clean, um, interior is pretty solid, few little tears, but nothing major that I noticed, um, the cracked shot weather rotted tires actually held air enough to get it onto the trailer which was cool made our lives a, a lot easier um my dad and brandon's not mine they were the ones doing the loading but uh yeah so that uh, definitely helped but uh today going to pick up the jet skis that i talked about last week um it's uh <sighs> yeah so 10 skis uh street bike and then a uh dirt bike of some sort in crates pretty excited about this deal and uh, just getting everything back here to the shop so we can start getting things running and uh hopefully selling some stuff so um yeah let's uh, head out to this deal there's the muscle <laughs> Back in the day, where you pull the thing here and the string comes out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like this. I gave uh, all the pink slips right here that I have for the skis. Some of them I do not. I called the DMV two years ago. Nice. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Let's Later, see dude. Looking good. All right, so we went through some of the skis and uh, check compression on a couple and just 
saw what was complete and what wasn't. Now we're gonna give the first uh, one a test here. The 650, looks solid, has a milled head, um, probably ported, it's got a, uh, an aftermarket intake manifold. Super clean. So uh, we're gonna give it a shot right now. Wait, so the reserve's hooked up to... So the on is plugged, reserve is the only thing feeding the pet cock, and then the reserve from the pet cock is to the bottom of the oil tank. So when I put it on reserve and it started filling the fuel filter, that was two stroke oil that was left in the thing. So if we go to on and manually choke it, now it should actually pull fuel. <laughs> so when I saw it start filling the fuel filter, I'm like, yeah, it looks a little thick. Yeah. Sketch. Which is good, because we need that lubrication. She's been sitting. Ready, ready, we're on on, manual, manual. always a good day when you can hear one run so um now that we got this 650 running we're gonna clean it up and get it listed and then uh, after that we got to move on to this pile there's i think six that were complete and then the rest will just uh part out or you know salvage what we can out of them so to be continued 